happy with the conditions we have for the start of the race and uh, we hope to do a, a tough uh, leg, but uh, it's going to be very important for us, for everybody. Well, yeah, our boat was uh, built in Sweden, so she's going to go back there and uh, it's a Swedish campaign and so it's, it's quite special to go back to Sweden. That's be a good leg, sails so right past my home, the Isle of Wight, so that's pretty good up the English Channel. And also going into uh, Sweden, which is where the boat's kind of basin from, so that's a pretty big leg for us. Shorter legs are way more complicated, especially if you're sailing around uh, land, uh, which means uh, more sail changes, more changes in breeze, amount of wind and uh, direction changes, so it means a lot more sail changes. It means that guys in the nav station have to be up all the time and uh, the crew are just always, almost always on, you know, and then you, you sleep where you drop, sort of thing in between changes if you get a chance. Yeah, so it's pretty difficult. You have to be happy, you know, you're, you're arriving in Sweden with a Swedish boat uh, sponsored by Ericsson, a Swedish company. You know, it, could, it could be nicer to win the leg uh, uh, arriving here in Maastricht, so, you know, and uh, almost uh, uh, getting our main goal, which is to win the whole race, so it's, uh, it's a fantastic time. That was awesome, unbelievable. Probably the hardest, almost the hardest leg yet. 2008-2009. The last couple of days have been great when it's uh, sunny and uh, that it's, that it's mastering at its best, so that's, uh, that's how it should be. It's about uh, 38 hours left from uh, Stockholm to uh, St. Petersburg. It's been hard now in the end, so it's, it's good it's coming to an end now. Fantastic, beautiful coastline of Sweden, everything, very good. I'm very disappointed that we never uh, uh, made it uh, as a first boat, it was so close. And Ken Reed stole my party, so I'm mad with him. But those guys sailed a very good race and they deserved to win. And we were this close to beat them, so which means that we sailed a good race as well. So I'm very happy. It's been a fantastic journey. It's taken us three years from the very beginning. And Helly Hansen has been involved uh, closely with the team. We developed a lot of new gear. And now here in Stockholm, when we Ericsson 4 uh, won the race, that kind of wraps up the whole, uh, whole sponsorship. We've done a lot of small improvements to our gear and what we say normally is that one long leg of the, of the race equals 10 years of normal use. So that means that uh, after the first leg, 30 days, we got a lot of answers on, on what was weak points with the products. We did improvements and we tested again for the next leg. So by the end of the race we can claim that our products are almost perfect. To be part of the, of the management structure and the, and, the, and, the, and the team building and the team management and the day-to-day -day running of the team and to finally win it is just wonderful. You know? It's like a box tick. You know? It's like going to the Olympics, tick, box tick. <laughs> it's a short sprint. It's upwind all the time. It's going to be less and less wind. It's going to be uh, tough uh, to beat all the others, but we are really going to try. It would be fantastic to win. 
Things have changed a little bit in the race now. We've, uh, we've had a lot more wind than we thought we were going to have coming up here, so we're a little bit early. Telefonica Black just in front of us, and Puma just in front of them. Telefonica Blue coming in on Portac, and way in the distance we can see E4. I mean, this is going to be yet another amazingly close finish in the uh, Volvo race. Yes, in one way everyone's happy to be finished with it and, and uh, good to get to the end of the, to the, end of the road and, and we achieved what we wanted to achieve and, um, but now everyone goes away, is unemployed and got to find something else to do so it's another two years of your life over with and you've got to move on with the next thing. Unbelievable, it's over finally, long, very long journey. <laughs> I just want to thank everybody who has been following the race and especially Heli Hansen for all the support for, for our team. We've been, we've been wet but uh, we've been also dry when it has been counted. Thank you.